Today on the channel, we're back at it with another Turtles of Skull unboxing with Leonardo and Donatello. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Turtles of Grayskull unboxing and review and today we got the two turtles we got Leonardo we got Donatello but for all your Turtles of Grayskull needs and a whole lot more hit up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free and these are shipping from Entertainment Earth right now if you do need these so check that out link in the description below as well but of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and this line still a little confusing to me it's taking me a while to grab hold i know some people have said this is the greatest ninja turtle crossover line of all time not sure i can go that far at this point here but it is cool for what it is but it just kind of confuses me a little bit. I feel like we have two Donatellos, two Man-at-Arms with the Man-at-Arms Donatello thing. It's like, which one is which? What are they doing? And I'm trying to convince my brain or more like train my brain to say, this isn't like your traditional mashup of Man-at-Arms and Dan Donatello. They're still going to be separate. It's just a new world they're into and some changes. So it is confusing and maybe I'm making it more confusing than it needs to be. That could be the case as well. But it's an interesting uh, series here so far that we've got. And of course, we've got Series 1 and we'll unbox Trapjaw the Mouser on the channel as well. So stay tuned to that. But let's kick it off. And I guess we'll go with Leonardo here first. Well, Leonardo, of course, the leaders of the Turtles. Uh, looking a lot like He-Man right here with the L on his chest. Kind of like the H. We know what we're doing in this crossover. Uh, we got a little of that. And I do love the packaging. I love how bright it is. I did see this on shelf at Target for the first time the other day. And it really did pop in the aisle. So I think the Mattel team is probably pretty happy about that if it's popping off the shelf like that. Should yarn some new eyes looking at the toys of course leonardo in the package do get the comic book leonardo the heroic ninja turtle leader and you got leo and he-man up top at the package there, looking pretty cool on the back you got old shredder looking interesting you got leo and him fighting it off in very he-man like artwork here of course this is a mattel property so it is the more mattel like artwork on these cross sell down below looks like you can put the weapons together jibber jabber down low as well it says, an explosion from the Technodrome sends the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles across dimensions to Eternia. Now augmented with tech from Man-at-Arms Armory, Leonardo leads his brothers into battle for the power of Grayskull. Very interesting. Now this is an American card. As the last series I got were all foreign card. Donatello foreign card as well from Amazon of all places, which is kind of strange. It is what it is though. It is what it is at the end of the day. It includes comic book. It does say, Let's see what's going on here. As of right now, I am not a Double Up Club member on this set. I've been doubling up club on a lot of this kind of stuff. See you later. Not going to do it right here, at least as of now. We'll see. Maybe things will change in the future. We'll just have to see what's going on. It does say Turtles of Grayskull by the power of pizza. Man, sign me up for some pizza. I'm here for that. So it says by the power of pizza. You got Trap Jaw in here. You got the Turtles. Got a lot of fun. Krang, Skeletor. The whole gang's here. The whole gang's here. We'll take a couple of pictures of that. And then you do get the instructions. Of course, the modularity of these. See you later. Goodbye. You can pin and uh, take things off, change them up, mix them up, do whatever you want to do. So Leonardo looking pretty good right there, I think, for the most part. Pull him out of the package. Let's see what's going on. Uh-oh, Leo. He's locked in like a young DC McFarlane toy. He's locked in all over the place. Pull him out. Uh, always rivet, always riveting when we're battling the twist ties and the clip strips. Always a riveting thing. And we got a bunch right here at the table. Bam, off to the side. And the power sword. Oh my gosh, they even locked the power sword in. I guess it's a powerful sword. You got to be careful with it. Probably best to lock that in. I guess it makes a lot of sense. See you later. Goodbye. More twist ties. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business here. Put Leo off to the side. Look at these accessories first. Now, would you get a little, uh, where would this end up going? Is this a shin guard? Looks like it might be a shin guard for him. So it's always interesting when these come in and they're not on there. 
I guess it could go around his forearm too. I guess I'll play with that and get that for the glamour shots. But we do get this. Would have preferred this to be on him. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Then you get the two halves of the sword. Very old school He-Man, of course, as we do know. And they, they do just click together like so. So you can have them separate, have them together. You can choose your own power sword adventure at the end of the day. All in a nice shiny gray kind of plastic color. Only one color on these. Uh, but it is very reminiscent of the old days, of course, from He-Man with Skeletor and the two swords you put together. Even the beginning of the Origins line, as we do know as well. But now we get down to old Leo here. He's got the big shin guards going on. He's got the big L harness in the middle of his chest looking good. He's got Eternia finest loincloth going on. A little bit different, not as furry as we're used to, but he does got those He-Man-like fur boots down here in the brown. Love the blue accent colors. Of course, Leonardo uh, thought of with the blue. When you see blue Ninja Turtle, you think of Leonardo, and they put that in here as well. Makes a lot of sense. Good turtle colored skin tone. Of course, you got the yellow color for the chest looking nice as well. Got the two toes, got the three fingers. Got some wristbands here, some nice silver wristbands going on. Now, he does got his head here looking good. All white eyes, blue bandana. He's got a very old school turtle's head here with just the little teeth showing off the side. And then you got the big waving bandana back there. I think that looks really cool as well. On the back, got a little fur up top, a little Eternia. You got to have a little of that. And then he does have the shell. You can store the power sword in the back of the shell, which is very cool to see. Now, I'm guessing this shell is removable. Let's see. Yes, it is. So we've seen that before. Shell is removable. It does have a handle on the inside, so he could use this for a shield. So you can have it on his back, have this as a shield. Got to hurt to be able to take your, sh uh, your shell off, I would imagine, if you're a turtle. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe in uh, Eternia, things are a little bit different, as we can see there. Uh, but looking good, as far as this looks like, it looks like he-man leonardo so as i said if it was an actual crossover where everybody grabbed a character you would say oh he-man and leonardo came together here instead they are two separate characters in this universe now articulation arms do go around but pretty limited by these uh shoulder guards i guess these are big and bulky they also seem to slide down on the arms so make note of that but that does block some of the articulation you do get the side to side single jointed elbow hands back forth side to side no extra hands or anything with this set here uh, you do get a little waist articulation, a little bit of splits going out of that one right there. You do get the legs that go up. You do get a bend of the knee, a little side-to-side -side action. Of course, boot cut, got to have that. Ankles back and forth, up and down. So you get all the usual articulation from the Masters of the Universe Origins, cartoon line, WWE Superstars line, whatever you want to call it. We do get that articulation here. Of course, over here, Donatello is going to have the exact same articulation, so we won't need to run through that one. Now, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Of course, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% of ringside collectibles. And what do you know? Fits on the stand. Fits pretty good right there, if you do ask me. Looking good. So, Leo, it's all right. It's okay. Did it blow me away? This line hasn't really blown me away. It's fun for what it is. But I do prefer the regular He-Man lines. I do prefer the WWE Superstars line. And I do prefer, like, my NECA, Super 7, you name it, Ninja Turtles line. And it's weird because I'm such a big He-Man fan, such a big Turtle fan. You think putting them together might really blow me away. But it's it's cool for what it is. It's just not something that's like, this is my number one collection. This is a top five collection for me. It's just kind of there. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. I got to keep on uh, waiting, I guess. We'll see what happens. But there's old Leonardo. Now we're turning our attention over to Donatello. I guess the man-at-arms type character in the crossover here, as we do know. And we did get man-at-arms in this Series 1, and we'll do some comparisons later in this video. Donatello, usual packaging design. You got Leo and He-Man up top. Got him in package looking good. Uh, it doesn't say anything. This, like I said, is foreign card. Jibber-jabber down here. A little bit of cross-sell action. A little glamour shot. It looks like he's fighting Beast Man, who's coming in Series 2. And you got Grayskull in the background, which is a pretty cool thing to see, as always. Donatello, Man-at-Arms, Leonardo, He-Man in Series 1. Pull these guys out. Let's see. There it is. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Now we get the same uh, stuff over here. We do get the how to put him together, how to take him apart pamphlet. See you later, Spider-Man style. Then we do get the comic book, but this comic book, unfortunately, being foreign card, you don't get any details on it. So really prefer the other one because we can actually read the comic book, or at least I can. This one, just pictures. you got to write your own story to that. Maybe we'll do that one day. We'll write our own story to one of these comic books. That'd be something. That'd be some true fiction is what that would be. Who knows? Or maybe nonfiction. Uh, but there it is right there, Donatello's Man-at-Arms. And, of course, he's locked in just like his uh, friends. i to cut him out of the package here. We got legs buckled in. We got the arms buckled in. It's just all buckled in. It's all buckled in at the end of the day. 
Oh, and I see some more reuse right off the bat right here. Real early. Real early in the line. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties. Let's clean up our mess. Got to always clean up the mess. There's no doubt about it. So we do get some reuse. We saw this exact staff slash club. Uh, Donatello is bringing those two weapons together. Man at arms at the top. Donatello down low, I guess, all in an orange color. We saw this with Man at Arms. So they're going to share the same weapon. Once again, Reuse City. Got to get the most out of your mold. So we do get that. But now we get old Donatello here and many of people's favorite Ninja Turtle, as we do know. And it does really look and feel like Man at Arms here, especially in the vest and kind of that mouth protector piece up there he always did wear. Looks good. I love the purple color against the green on this one. It is really striking. It really does pop and stand out. I really like it, especially the Terry Steinbach standard issued Oakland A's. Of course, shin guards. I think this was a Mother's Day special. They would wear pink and purple colors for Mother's Day. And I think that's what Terry Steinbach did back in, I think it was 1990. Somebody fact check that. Somebody fact check that. But looking good here with the shin guards. Of course, a little bit more familiar attorney of loincloth underneath there. Uh, you do got the belt going on. The vest we talked about, you got the shoulder protection here in purple, and it looks very turtle-like, of course. You got a little forearm guard with a little blaster there, very man-at-arms-like. He's going to shoot some blasts out of the side. Uh, you do got, of course, three fingers going on, two toes, just like we saw with Leonardo. And we got the identical articulation with this one we saw in Leonardo, so we don't need to walk through that either. He does got the shell in the back, and you can store the weapon back here. And just like everybody else, yep, the shell is removable. You can use it as a shield. It does have the handle on the inside. Got to get the most out of those moles on those things, as we do know. The head on this one, of course, looks like Donatello all day long. Big, open, cheesy smile going there. Two wide eyes. Got the purple bandana, but then you get the man-at-arms head on this one. All in purple, looking like a young man-at-arms, no doubt about it there. Uh, looking good. It looks like these guys do have different skin tone colors. You got a little brighter green, a little darker green here, so we're not going to be uniform in our color of our turtles, which isn't the end of the world. We've seen that many a times in the line. I assume he will fit on a ringside stand as well. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. So two turtles down, two turtles to go. You know we're getting them in the future. We got some more baddies coming. Somebody said, I think I saw it on the internet, that there was at least four waves of these turtle line to come. And then after that, they're going to assess the situation and see how things are going. So it'll be interesting to see how deep this goes. Hopefully they get all the heavy hitter characters, all the core characters in here. You got to think there's going to be an April O'Neil and a Tila to go together. Maybe an Evil Lynn along the way. Of course, Skeletor Shredder. We got Beastman around the corner. Of course, you got to have Michelangelo, Raphael. Uh, Casey Jones would be a cool one. Have to imagine a foot soldier of some kind. Uh, we got the Trap Jaw, which we'll unbox on the channel. We're going to build a Roboto type character as well. So we're going to get maybe the core group Splinter. He's got to be in the conversation. So we'll see where it ends up going with this line. An interesting line, one that's still growing on me. But is it growing on you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, we did unbox He Man and Man at Arms earlier in the channel. Uh, so check out those videos if you missed them so you can kind of see how that all goes down. An interesting story, to say the least. Krang, there's another one. I mean, you could go all day listing off characters. Baxter Stockman, who else do we need? But uh, Stratos, uh, I'll stop. I'll stop there. There you go. But there is the core group of Series 1. Like I said, Mouser, uh, Trap Jaw to come. So stay tuned for that unboxing. But what are your guys' thoughts? Are you here for this? Is this a must-have for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We get videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content, if you can believe it, for you over on Patreon, including early access to videos like this, bonus content, giveaways, Q&As, dog stuff, pizza stuff, you name it. All going on over there, the old Patreon channel. Patreon, the best place to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Man at Arms, Donatello, Leonardo, and He-Man, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.